Olá e sejam bem-vindos a mais um Pen Responde. Eee! Dessa vez sem 2 a 0, então a gente tá aqui pra responder tudo sobre o final de semana, o que, que aconteceu, o que aconteceu no fatídico jogo do sábado que a gente não baniu. Então, Kaká, fecha mesmo. So let's start with a light question uh -huh. for all of you guys. With the top five of the, the table like being defined, what you guys think about the level of these playoffs and if you guys think the competition is in a good level? For me, oh, it's okay. similar to last splits. Like there's all, always used to have like two or three teams that are really strong and the others not that much, but always can win. So for me, same now, I think. Us and Loud and maybe Fuxu are a bit better than the others, but everything can happen in playoffs, so... Yeah, I think in general, <coughs> normally the top five or the top six of CBLOL, not all of the teams are like that good, at least from screams and from CBLOL games. Normally we can know which teams will be like final contenders or like will be the top four, so I think it's kind of the same for this split. You guys agree? Viva yeah. Wise Delta. Yes, concordo. Yes. With all of that being said, which teams do you guys think gets the sixth spot for playoffs? Kid, no? Kid Dusha. Yeah, it should be Kid. Fury can't, can, can do a 2 0, but I've heard that they need to win both Kid's games best. in 34 minutes. Yeah. Which means like each game should have around 17 minutes. minutes. Ah, impossible. Yes. It's mate... like that for sure, Kid. There's yeah. no. A matemática fala que é Kid. Now they are asking about. Playoffs. Do you guys think that with this faster and more explosive gameplay style you guys are showing, you guys will be stronger in these playoffs comparing to the last split? Do we have a more aggressive and explosive play style? We have. We do. <laughs> this is true then. I think so. So you guys think that because of that you'll be stronger in this play this playoffs? I don't know if it's because of this so much. Because at the same at the same way we should be careful about over aggressiveness yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. over steps, you know, because we saw a lot of good teams like messing up everything because they think they deserve everything yeah so we should be careful about that also so we can't over too much on this so we need to focus on our last stage too what's good you know we just needed some points to be better so i think we need to be careful with, with this thinking but it's important if we can like uh, be exactly about that we we're gonna be stronger for sure everyone thinks the same yeah. you think the same way <laughs> exactly you think we are stronger this is playoffs yeah <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. I mean, it's not for me, you know? <laughs> the game against TZ started weird scenes from the draft. You guys <laughs> lost a band <laughs> and did a full AD comp. And in games, you guys had some questionable fights. And as Carioca said, it seems that you guys completely turned it off during the game. Yeah. What exactly do you guys think it happened on Saturday. So, since the kid was the one who lost the band, <laughs> yeah. you can explain why you didn't ban. First of all, I didn't ban because of my coaching staff fault. I have literally zero fault on this. I can't say it's, it was my bad. You know? <laughs> Jero is watching. What <laughs> Hello, Jero. What? They ask about uh, no ban. Uh, yeah. About no ban and about full ID comp. And true. I'm pretty confused. You guys are idea, not my idea. No, but <laughs> no, you should take He's always against that, actually. Yeah. You don't like pain people. Now, actually, people were, were complaining to you because of that, but in Pain's programming, Pain put into the game, they saw you saying like about Rumble, and why they say, no, mm, not is fine. Not I, have, fine. I have mm. magic Maybe, damage. <laughs> Maybe Rumble was better for the combo. I don't know, because he. I agree about he gonna be hard the time on the Yeah, console. for sure, for sure. But Luben is my better. Just, I just say last second. And. Cham. This oh. My bad. <laughs> so you guys have now the answer already? Yeah. And this is kind of according to the next question. They are asking like why we picked Trundle mm -hmm. with a full AD comp. Trundle is good like like now he did comps, no? If his team is full AD, Trundle is one who can help. Yeah. He's the one who I can help tanks. about yeah, that, true. you know? Because he can loot someone true. and then this guy's yeah, not yeah. tank anyway. Trundle is fine. It's is fine. fine. Trundle was fine. fine. Oh, the problem can... is an enemy comp. Yeah, problem is they have three things. Yeah, they can't do can only, 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 yeah, only one. They can only do so. one. So. Yeah. They count him. Se você 2 v 2 na arena, ele pegar essa cartinha do 2 ult. Do 2 ult. Eu tava com os dois. Aí o terceiro ia matar nós ainda. <laughs> Eu não era bom, não. So now our next question is for B-Voy. Do you believe <laughs> that there is a certain rivalry 
between you and Root to show who is the best Korean ADC in C below? Huh? Do you think that you and Root have something special when they face each other because both should show who is the best Korean AD? So what should I say? You like to play against him? No, I don't really think about that. Uh, I don't know what, what should I say. <laughs> I feel nothing, you know? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, one question for your b-boy, Jinkedo, Kaka, Wiser, only you guys. How you guys see Pro Delta's evolution during this split? Mm. I need to be honest, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when he played first game with us, for me, he was not, not a human. <laughs> 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 yeah, because he was really nervous, really a lot. This yeah. game. He was nervous about us. He was nervous yeah. about him. He was yeah. nervous about enemy. Yeah. So he was so just, just nervous. nervous. <laughs> Super nervous. Yeah, he Super. couldn't think. <laughs> you should say now he's ah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> now you can yeah. see he's a human, right? <laughs> so way over he play, he keep improving a lot. So I believe uh, he will be much better than nowadays in the playoff. I agree. I agree. First time I say <laughs> I agree, I think, you know, like I always say something, you guys say I agree. Yeah. Now I say I agree, I don't need to add anything. On the Sunday's match, looking at the poor dentro of the game, looks like you guys didn't like the way the game was played against Flux. Do you guys think you guys could, could have ended the game earlier? For sure. For, For sure. sure. For sure. For sure. But I felt we played like Really shit. so bad during the game. You mean? Yeah, yeah, during the game. But after I saw and we had some mistakes, of course, some important mistakes. But it was not that much problem. I feel like. Yeah, we could for sure we could end the but game faster. But for sure we could finish the game. And now, pro special question for you. Mm. Do you remember your 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 play killing Jizamis mm -hmm. as Lulu? Mm -hmm. So and they are saying do. like, despite being a nice play, did it have any strategic? Purpose behind it was a good play. Funny play, they say. Funny. Okay. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was good. I like. You can ask your enemy, Jamu. Pô, no começo eu sabia que eu podia ficar batendo nele, mas na hora que ele gastou o flash, ele saiu depois do red, eu tinha que ter voltado, não precisava ter me colocado naquela situação. Mas eu já tava lá e eu falei que eu não morria para todo mundo. Aí eu falei, pô, preciso matar o cara. Preciso provar agora. Ah, então não posso mentir, <risos> mentir. Aí eu matei ele depois eu acho que até xinguei ele, não lembro. Eu tava meio bravo. Não lembro, não, 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 não. Mas nem xinguei muito, não. Só falei, morre aí, capeta. Saco de lixo. Eu queria morrer. Carniça ruim. Eu, eu não falo essas coisas. Mas ele não foi ruim pro game, não, né? Ah, eu podia não ter matado, Pô, tá ligado? Cara. Ele sim quis morrer, ele deu o que que é, ele Se ele só sai, ele ia ia morrer. tempo, cara. O quê? Ele ia ganhar muito tempo. Então, mas eu já ganhei ele tempo ele fazendo ele ficar louco. Sim, eu mas, mas tipo, se ele se não pula em você, ia demorar muito pra morrer, porque a Kai estava, tipo, ela não ia conseguir dar follow-up. Tá, então foi bom, que a Kai tá me protegendo. Now, again for everyone, during the split, looks like patches didn't change that much. Is it true? Do you guys agree with that? And if it's true, do you think it was good or bad for you guys? AD yeah, change. So you guys a jungle change, but the lose. beginning was a lot of Vai, Upong, yeah. Diego. Now it's only... Sergio a lot of Juani. 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 For us, just peel, now it's CC and engage support. Actually, it's kind of like that, no? Every split. Do you know? Static, mess up everything. No? Yeah. Oh, actually, ah, static. Yeah. What the yeah. But so since, since static show, showed up, like everything is just random, you know? Man. AD builds, AP, AP builds. Kai's a mid, Edge are mid, what? what? So yeah, actually it changed a lot. And yeah. you guys like that those changes? I mean, when just it changes that much? Mm. I like some changes, but I like some changes too. I, I hate when like getting playoffs or something they change too much, important, right? they change everything. Yeah, like, that's for true. me, it really doesn't make any sense. And I agree with Dean, I don't really like when like it changes in Really important moments, but when it changes a little bit, it's normal. Thumb meta is really boring. Every ma wrong. every matchup is kind of boring, no? Like just farm. Only because you want every matchup, no? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think what's important for us is how we adapt the the patch, right? Yeah. Yeah. This meta is for me for the top top lane doesn't much different. Just top is top. You know, for the last question. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, guys. Sometimes it feels like you guys try to. Prove, prove yourself over the weekend, especially about something that was criticized over the last split or in the last few weeks, more than just winning the match. What is the point of having this mindset? Uh, I think we 
we are only thinking about improve ourselves and our problems. So if it's constantly it's our you guys were thinking communication was problem and we think communication was problem, we are gonna focus on communication. You know? So mm -hmm. of course we want to improve. That's the point. So we don't want to prove something to someone outside much. You know, we just want to be better. So. If we think something is problem, we are gonna focus on that. Mas acho que é mais isso mesmo. É, muitos it's assuntos que a gente. Maybe if it's about champion pool, you guys saying like, can be because we also need to improve our champion pool and we we need to be ready for playoffs and getting more stunts, more <laughs> style, more, more game style. So we can't just rely on the same thing all the time, you know. So yeah. and so even though we play, if we play one champion one time and we play bad, we need to play again, you know, because we need to we need to get ready to use that. So. E às vezes algum bagulho até vira meme assim, a gente fala que ah não joga, não joga, tipo a gente continua jogando porque o que importa é como a gente enxerga aqui de dentro, tá ligado? É, a gente sabe que vai ser importante. E às vezes, porque até às vezes tem um campeão que foge um pouco do nosso estilo, por exemplo, a gente usa no final de semana e não vai tão bem. E aí sofre o, virou um meme, alguma coisa assim, só que na verdade nos treinos estava dando certo, ou estava dando. E a gente não pode guivar o campeão, sabe? Ah, chegou no um dia e não deu certo, vamos. Às vezes nem foi culpa abandonar. do campeão, né? É, às vezes. Depois de quem tá jogando. Depois de quem tá na cadeira. <risos> Chegamos ao final. Demais não tem responde. Ah! ah. Ah, isso foi estranho. Você nem avisou, Sérgio. Chegamos ao fim, pô. Foda-se. Muito obrigado a todos pelas perguntas, Valeu. pela torcida de sempre. A gente promete treinar bastante para trazer mais um 2 a 0 nessa última semana da fase de pontos. Uhum. E contamos com a torcida de todos, que nem sempre. Muito Valeu. obrigado. Tchau, tchau. tchau, tchau. Thank you.